Holly Willoughby broke down on this morning for a second day in a row on Tuesday after discussing the escalating crisis in Ukraine live on the show. The presenter, 41, struggled to control her emotions as she spoke with co-host Philip Schofield and commentators Julia Hartley Brewer and Nicola Thorpe, causing Phil to cut to an ad break as she regained her composure. It comes just a day after she cried on Monday's show as she watched footage of a little girl singing inside a bomb shelter in Kyiv. On Tuesday's show Julia had just finished her commentating on the fleeing citizens, saying that seeing images of children getting on trains and buses to leave their homes, broke her heart, the camera then cut back to the studio, where Phil softly said, let's just leave it there for the moment shall we, we will be back right after this. Holly, sat beside him, had tears running down her face and was unable to look at the camera while she composed herself. Dot. After the show returned from the break Holly said that she couldn't help feeling sad over the crisis in Ukraine, telling viewers, it's very hard not to feel anxious when you look at what is going on in the world, when you read the papers or switch on the TV. Viewers of the show took to social media to offer their support to Holly after she visibly broke down. One viewer penned, I absolutely can understand Holly crying. Remember we could be in a difficult situation one day, who knows which way this war will go Putin has nothing to lose now. Another said, can someone please give Holly a hug in reaction to the emotional scenes. Dot. It comes after Holly was moved to tears as she watched footage of a little girl singing inside a bomb shelter in Kyiv on Monday. The world has been touched by the heartbreaking scenes coming out of Ukraine in recent weeks, with Holly unable to hold back as she was played the video on the show. In the viral clip, a little girl named Amelia is seen trying to rouse everyone's spirits with a performance of Let It Go from Disney's Frozen. As Holly was left in tears she said, such innocence, isnt it, while Giles Brandreth added, we're seeing the worst and the best of humanity in this crisis aren't we? Camilla Tomini then noted, I hadnt seen that before actually. Shush is the age of my youngest daughter. It's awful. An emotional Holly went on, it's horrible, it's horrible, before Philip threw to a break. Holly later told ITV News host Mary Nightingale, we all just fell to pieces there, as the pair discussed reporting on the war. Dot. The video of Amelia singing Frozen was first posted to Facebook on Thursday by Marta Smekova, who says she filmed it with permission from the girl's mother. From the first word in the bomb shelter came complete silence, everyone put their business aside and listened Ed, to a song by this girl who was just beaming light. Even men couldn't hold back the tears, Marta wrote. It is unclear when the video was taken or where in Kyiv the shelter is located. The footage has been shared 99,000 times on Facebook. It has been reposted on various social media sites, with each version racking up tens of thousands of views. In the video, Amelia belts out a version of Let It Go for those sheltering in the bunker. The song was originally recorded for the soundtrack of the animated Disney film Frozen. Sung by actress Adina Menzel and written by Kristen Anderson Lopez and Robert Lopez, it won the Academy Award for Best Original Song and reached number 5 on the Billboard Hot 100. In 2014, Disney released a compilation of 42 foreign language versions of the song, including translations in Ukrainian and Russian. When Amelia finished, the crowd erupted in cheers and applause. Bravo, bravo, one voice exclaimed, as a shy and rosy-cheeked Amelia clutched her hands in front of her face. Marta said she filmed the girl, whose age is not known, while visiting a bomb shelter in Kyiv.
seeing in one of the Kiev bomb storage, how children draw bright pictures in half-darkness, I, of course, couldn't silently pass by. Stopped, praised, offered to do a little exhibition to somehow decorate this not-so-happy place, she wrote, according to a translation of her Facebook post, which was written in Ukrainian. Dot. The girl turned out to be so friendly, so talkative. She told me that besides drawing, she loves to sing. And whispered shared her dream that she wants to sing on a big stage in front of the audience. So what's the matter, I'm saying, now we're organizing, do you see honey how many people are here? That's what you sing for. Marta went on to note that Amelia was worried because it was her first performance. She also said it was loud and that people may not hear her. Needless to say worried for nothing. From the first word in the bomb shelter came complete silence. Everyone put their business aside and listened to a song by this girl who was just beaming light. Even men couldn't hold back the tears.